Does your webcam look like what your cat left in its litter box last night? Don't sweat, fam. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make your budget webcam look 10 times better in just a few minutes. And if you make it to the very end of the video, I'll show you my favorite budget webcams that I've personally used that don't look like complete doo-doo and don't require you to sell one of your kidneys in order to afford it. Sound good? Good. It better sound good, you motherfucker. Now you can use your webcam software that it came with, or you can use OBS Studio or Streamlabs. It really doesn't matter. It's gonna be the same exact concept for everything. And if you're wondering where I got this dope starting soon screen, it's in my streamer starter pack in the description down below. But to further prove my point, I'm going to turn off this beautiful webcam right here. And we're going to use the awful integrated camera that's in my laptop right now. So I'm going to turn off the good one. Bye guys. And now we're going to add the awful webcam that I have that's built into most laptops these days. So that's the integrated camera. Look at this. Look at how awful this looks. So our goal today is to turn this awful webcam, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are working with because it's honestly realistic and affordable into something that doesn't look like complete trash. So the first thing we want to know about webcams in general is that they have a resolution and FPS cap, aka the best things that they can do. So for this specific integrated webcam, which is very common with a lot of laptops, the max resolution that we have if we go to custom is I believe 720 which is 720p and then this frames per second usually you want to aim for 60 but unfortunately this is 30 FPS so this is not great to be working with it's 720p 30 frames per second so I'm gonna have it set at in its highest capabilities which is that and we're gonna hit okay in today's day and age you really want to aim for 1080p and 60 frames per second because that's what my webcam was when I open up this video aka this right here it looks so much better right but today we're working with this. And if you're a streamer, because you've been watching the videos on my channel, you'll realize that since it is 720p, most streams are at 1080p. So like if we wanted to stretch this and make it fit the screen, it's going to look even worse. So this is where we have to make some decisions. And by the way, if you didn't know, you can just right click on your source in OBS Studio and then go to transform. And then you can either reset transform to bring it in how you had it. Or if you wanted to go to transform and then you can also fit to screen, it's going to do that same thing, but perfect. But you're still stretching out that image. So it's going to look like trash. So we're actually going to go back and reset it. The second thing that you should know about webcams is that they work really well in optimal settings. And I don't mean settings that you tweak on your computer, but I mean settings as in your environment. Right now, my room is very dark. So what I want to do is turn on a light. And what most of you guys will do is turn on your overhead light or whatever the room light is. So let's see what happens when you do that. It looks a little bit better, but quite honestly, I don't like the way that this looks. And we're actually going to have a better fix for that. So actually, I want you to turn your overhead light off if it can this nasty shadow on your face because my face is very dark so actually we want to turn off all the lights in our room right now so let's turn them back off so we're back in our cave and what I want you to do is either go and grab a lamp or a light source or anything got laying around the house and then place it in front of you either to the right or to the left at about 45 degrees 90 degrees is a complete like L shape so you want to put it in the middle so like right about 45 degrees and when you've done that I want you to turn that light source on I'm gonna turn mine on right now and so this is what we're gonna call a key light light. You can also buy them on Amazon for like 10 to 15 bucks. I have a really cheap one that I just have strapped to my desk. And you can already tell that I look way better in terms of the actual image. So literally just doing your lighting is going to make your webcam have to work 10 times less, which in return is going to give us 10 times more better image. However, we're still not done yet because there's a bunch of other things that we can still do. To add on to lighting, you can also add background lights if you want. So I'm going to turn my background lights on. It adds some extra depth to the image. I got one there, one there, and then I also have that. And so we have two different color lights, which helps brighten up the image and makes our webcam work less. What a lot of people will do is they'll go into their webcam settings. So if you like double click on sources, configure video, you can see we have different camera settings and different brightness settings. And so they'll go and tweak things like this, which ironically just ends up making the webcam work harder, especially if you mess with the exposure settings. And so that's exactly what we don't want to do. So like we can turn off low light compensation because usually that'll cause a bunch of lag. And instead of introducing artificial lighting like exposure and low light compensation and other things like that, we want to introduce that natural lighting in our actual settings. So we use a key light, we use a lamp or anything to brighten up the image. It's going to make our webcam work less hard and make the image look better. So the less stress we can put on our webcam, the better. So considering from where we started, this already looks a million times better just using a couple simple lights. But we can make it look even better. And so if you're a streamer or a YouTuber, what you'll want to do is usually if you're playing a 
the game, we can hold Alt on the keyboard and crop this to get rid of some extra space we don't need. And then what's going to happen is when we go and make this smaller, it's actually going to look 10 times better because we're not blowing it up. So it already looks really good. And you could get away with using this on Twitch, YouTube, whatever you want to use it for just when you make it smaller. However, the opposite being said, if you make it larger than it's supposed to be, you're going to see it's really grainy and kind of gross. So even just using the simple lighting techniques and cropping and making it smaller like this and then putting your game in the background, you can get away with very easily. However, if we right click and then we go to transform and reset and go back to this, then you could see if you're doing a just chatting sort of thing and talking to your audience like this, or even trying to make it bigger by stretching it, then it's going to be a lot harder to get away with that crisp image. So we can make a couple of minor changes to spice it up just a little bit more. Also really quick, if you're interested in becoming a streamer, but you don't know where to get started and you want advice from someone who's been streaming for over seven years, I have a very simple free step-by-step -step masterclass on streaming in the description down below so you can check it out if you want to learn the ropes to becoming a pro streamer. But anyways, let's get back to the video. So this is where we can start editing the webcam settings just a little bit. Because like I said earlier, we don't want to make it work too much. So what I can do is go into your webcam settings. You can either go and double click and go to configure video or you can go and use the webcam software, whatever you're using. I like to use the webcam filters option and then we're going to go to effects and we're going to add a new effect and then we're going to go to sharpen and then we're going to hit okay and so now i'll drag this down so you can see a little bit better you can already see that it does sharpen the image just a little bit now you don't want to go too much with this you want to keep it really low because look what happens when i drag it all the way to the right it's way too sharp and we look like a minecraft character and we don't want to do that however if we bring it all the way to the left it looks way better because we're basically not using any sharpness right so right about the sweet spot i found is maybe like 0.1 and so what happens is if i hide the size so if i click on the eye it's going to hide it and not use it and I clicked it now and then I take it back on off on off and so it's really subtle if you really focus on my face here you'll be able to see the difference so on makes it a little bit more clear and then off makes it more blurry so you can add just a hint of sharpness to help and once again that will really help when you go and like make it smaller like this and it's going to just really enhance the image even better I'm going to hit control Z to make it go back to where it was and then there's another thing I want to show you guys too and this is only going to be for a select few people and honestly I'm not even sure if I'd recommend it, but it looks cool. So I figured I'd show you guys. So while we're still under these effect filters here, we're going to add a new one by hitting plus. And if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I don't know which one in particular, because I'm not a nerd, though. Honestly, I just didn't do enough research for this video to tell you the truth. So I'm going to call it out for not being a nerd. <laughs> but That's the honest answer. And so some people will have access to the NVIDIA background blur filter and background removal. However, when you click on it and then hit OK, it's going to remove the background. Now it's yelling at me because I don't have the updated stuff which is fine but what I would like to do is probably just add a little bit of blur so like literally the smallest amount you can add which is about 0.05 I know you can tweak it like that so about 0.05 and then we'll hold close and then now we have the background blur which honestly doesn't look half bad so if I go and I go to transform and reset it to what the normal 720p is it looks pretty good considering where we started from if you rewind to the beginning of the video like this is already miles better than it was before and you can also tweak the sharpness with this as well if you want to like drag it below so it'll happen after the background filter or you can just straight up turn it off it's up to you but feel free to mess with this and then obviously you can go and crop it like so and crop it here and then go and make it a little bit smaller and I feel like if you have a just chatting graphic and then you put your webcam here then you could totally get away with this in a just chatting environment too this looks a lot better however I will say I'm not sure how much resources this uses specifically the Nvidia background blur filter because word on the street is and what I've heard before is that this uses a lot of resources so if you're using a low-end PC you might not want to use this however you can try it out for yourself if you got a nice beefy computer or you're just like heck I'm gonna give it a shot try it see if it works and then if it ends up chugging your computer too much just turn it off just don't use it you know you still make your webcam look 10 times better using the stuff before this this, but it doesn't hurt to try, right? So do be wary about how much resources it uses on your computer. So if your game starts lagging and things like that, you might not want to use it. But ultimately, turning our little integrated webcam into this is pretty good. And I'll even turn on my really good webcam right here and put them next to each other. And it's really not that different, especially when you have it lower on this setting. So really something to consider when you're working with more budget options. You just got to be creative. And if there's any tips that I didn't mention in this video that you use personally, put them in the comments down below. I'd love to see them. I'll like them. And I just want everyone to help each other out. And as I promised at the beginning of the video, you can watch this video to the side of me. It's going to show you my favorite budget webcams that you don't need to sell a kidney in order to afford. So watch that video. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.